Hi, Sarah the Gardener. It's really yucky weather outside, so I thought I'd get stuck into a project inside. Um, what I'm going to try and do is see if I can't germinate popping corn. I couldn't find any in any of the gardening catalogues. Not that it looked hard, but, you know, I looked. Give me credit. Um, and so I reached into the pantry and found this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can germinate it so that if it actually germinates then I'll plant some in the spring so what I've done is I've put some in the water to soak and I'll leave that there for about an hour and we'll see what we get out of that and then the others and another lot I'm just gonna try and germinate without soaking so I'll see how it goes in a let you know what happens next. Okay, it's been about an hour now since they've been soaking. So, I, no, I don't think I can cope with actually doing it while I'm showing you because I'm scared of breaking the camera or something. So, hold on a minute and I'll just drain them. Now, I don't know if that's made too much difference. They seem to be, I don't know, they seem to be a little bit softer than the ones in the, that I didn't drain. So, we shall see. Anyway, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the paper towel and I'm going to germinate them. Um, see how long it takes to germinate them if in fact it does. So I've got a one bag here for the not soaked ones and a bag here for the soaked ones. So I just know so if this works all good and well I shall plant some popcorn in the spring. And if it doesn't, well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Right, hold on a minute and I'll do the next bit. Right, I've spaced them out. And then I'm going to fold them in half. Alright, then I folded them in half again so that they would fit in the bag. And then I'm going to roll them up a little bit so that I can make it fit in my container. And then I'm just putting them in the water just to get them soaked. And then, hold on a minute, I can't do this with two hands. One hand. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I put them in the bag and I've left the top open, so I don't know if that matters or not, but I've left the top open and I'm going to leave it somewhere warm so that it can germinate and I'll check it in the next couple of days and see if they germinate and if they do, we'll get free popcorn. Yay! We like popcorn. Okay, I did it with the... Um, non-soaked one as well because if I can eliminate the step in the spring that'll be all good and well because there's heaps of things to do in the spring so anyway um I shall put them somewhere warm okay this old tea box connect is my germination little thing it's no good for tea it taints it all to the taste of wood which is a bit of a pain but it's got a glass lid so it'll keep it nice and humid and I'll just push it so it's not in the direct sun. No. in the direct sun but get the warmth of being there and there we go that's the corn we'll come back in a week okay we're back it's five days later I ended up putting the box in the hot water cupboard because it wasn't really getting warm enough in here. So let's have a look. Now apart from the whole lot going mouldy, but that's okay because this is just an experiment to see if we can actually do it. Let's have a look and see how we got on. Well, the good news is you can grow popcorn from commercial popcorn packet seeds that you buy from your local supermarket because these have sprouted. And you don't need to soak them. Although, the soaked ones 
you've done really well. I mean, look at this one, it's gone for miles. So, of course, now these are all going to get consigned to the bin, compost heap, because it's the middle of winter and there's no way I'm going to be able to grow corn. But we have a success. We shall be growing popcorn this season and probably save ourselves, we get through about maybe a packet a month. So we will save ourselves 79 cents a month. Woohoo! Okay, it's more about being able to do it. Have some of my gourmet popcorn I grew myself. Well, thanks for watching. If you've got any ideas, give it a whirl. You never know what will happen.